Welcome back to Simplifying Synthesis. In this video, we are going to look at the total synthesis of Hybrid Samson M. This work was carried out by Adrian Samkian, Scott Virgil, and Brian Stoltz, and was published in JAX. Hyper Samson M is a homo adamantane type polycyclic polyprenylated acylfluoroglucanol that was isolated from Hypericum samsonii in 2014. Related compounds from the PPAF family have shown a broad spectrum of bioactivities, including anti tumor, anti inflammatory, hepatoprotective, and anti adipogenesis properties. However, the activity of Hyper Samson M has yet to be fully explored. This is quite a large family of compounds, and over 70 Homo adamantane PPAPs have been reported to date, yet no one has been able to synthesize them yet. This is in stark contrast to the adamantane type PPAP family, which contains a six rather than a seven membered central ring. Even though there have been fewer adamantane type PPAPs reported, there has already been three syntheses, as the central six membered ring is a much easier target than the seven membered ring found in the Homo adamantanes. Forming this seven membered ring is one of the primary challenges involved in the synthesis of these molecules, as it is also appended to a six membered ring, forming a sterically congested bicyclo 331 non-ane core. In addition, there is also a pentane ring fused to this core scaffold, further increasing the complexity of the target. The strategy to synthesize the seven membered ring will be to use a cyclopropanation followed by a ring expanding rearrangement. Meanwhile, a hydrogen atom transfer coupling could be used to construct the six membered ring, while the pentane ring could be installed using the addition of a zincase reagent, followed by a spontaneous annulation. So let's start the synthesis with the hydrogen atom transfer coupling reaction. This reaction starts with the reaction of iron acac and phenylsilane, which adds a hydrogen radical to the alkene of the substrate. This leaves a radical residing on the stabilized tertiary position, and this then adds to the beta position of the enone once again generating a radical intermediate. This is reduced by another equivalent of phenylsilane, forming the product in a 48% yield. Taking this forward, the molecule was deprotonated with sodium hydride and the resulting enolate then added to dimethyl carbonate. This eliminates an equivalent of sodium methylate to furnish the acylated compound. In the next step, this alpha position, now more acidic due to two electron withdrawing groups, was deprotonated with pyridine, and the enolate then added to phenyl selenium chloride. The reaction was then worked up at this stage, and the intermediate was then redissolved in DCM and hydrogen peroxide was added. This oxidizes the selenium, forming a selene oxide. This can undergo an intramolecular elimination reaction, where the selene oxide abstracts a hydrogen atom and is eliminated to form an alkene. This formed the target product in a 73% yield over two steps. In the next step, this newly formed enone acted as an electrophile and was attacked by a zincate reagent bearing an alkyne group. The enolate intermediate formed by this attack then undergoes an intramolecular addition to the alkyne, forming a five membered ring. Hydrolysis of the resulting zinc complex produced the target compound in a 65% yield with a 6.3 to 1 DR favouring the syn product. The alkene was then hydrogenated using palladium and carbon and hydrogen gas and the product was taken forward to the next reaction without purification. In the next step, a diazoacetate was deprotonated with LDA, and this added to the ketone to form a tertiary alcohol upon protonation with acetic acid, forming the product in an 88% yield over two steps. This diazo compound was required for the ring expansion rearrangement. A bisrhodium TFA complex reacts with this diazo center, eliminating nitrogen gas, to form a rhodium bound carbene. The unoccupied p orbital of the carbene can overlap with a carbon hydrogen single bond, causing an insertion to occur, forming a cyclopropane ring with the elimination of the rhodium catalyst. This cyclopropane can then undergo a ring expansion, breaking the carbon carbon bond to form a seven membered ring, together with the oxidation of the tertiary alcohol to a ketone. This ring expansion was remarkably efficient, forming the challenging seven membered ring in a 92% yield. In the next step, the alpha position was deprotonated with sodium hydride, and the resulting enolate then attacked prenyl bromide. The product was formed in an 89% yield as a single diastereomer, and this selectivity was likely driven by the conformational rigidity of the bicyclic system. With this in place, 
the pendant ester could then be removed. The TMS group is deprotected with TBAF, and this promotes an elimination sequence, where ethylene and carbon dioxide are both eliminated and lost as gases, leaving a negative charge residing on the alpha position. This is then protonated with ammonium chloride. Despite efforts, the stereochemistry of this tertiary position could not be conclusively determined. In the next step, the hydroxyl group that was also revealed by the TBAF deprotection was oxidized using desmartin periodinine. The hydroxyl group attacks the iodine centre, eliminating a molecule of acetate. This acetate then acts as a base to deprotonate the molecule and eliminate the DMP byproduct, converting the alcohol to an aldehyde. The product was formed as a single diastereomer with a 79% yield over two steps. Taking this aldehyde forward, it could then take part in an aldol cyclization lactonization sequence. The compound was reacted with tosylic acid to promote the formation of an enol that could then add to the aldehyde. The intermediate formed by this addition then underwent another intramolecular addition, this time into the ester. This eliminated an equivalent of methanol and formed the tricyclic lactone in a 46% yield with 30% recovered starting material. This lactone proved to be remarkably stable and all attempts to hydrolyze it failed. To bypass this problem, they instead converted it to an amide. Aniline hydrochloride was first reacted with trimethyl aluminium, forming a highly nucleophilic amine aluminium adduct. This attacked the lactone, forming a tetrahedral intermediate that then collapsed to open the lactone ring and formed the analyte upon workup with Rochelle salt. The alcohol could then be oxidized to a ketone, again using DMP as we saw before. In the next reaction, this amide was methylated using myrwine salt, together with dyed terpetylpyridine. This formed a methyl imidate intermediate that was then attacked by the enol tautomer of the ketone, eliminating methanol and forming a new carbon-carbon bond. The resulting imine could then be hydrolyzed using HCl and ethyl acetate to form the product in a 67% yield. With the polycyclic framework now complete, all that remained was to install the pendant benzoyl group. The alpha position was deprotonated using lithium TMP and the enolate that was formed then attacked benzoyl chloride to complete the synthesis of hypersamson M. Well, I hope you enjoyed the synthesis. Join me in the next video where we will look at the total synthesis of ganoaplanin.